if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Hey friends, Shane from HowToWrench.com and me and the kiddos are taking a day to uh, reset the shop. And it made me think and kind of wonder, we got crazy hot messes from camping and coming back and needing to unload. And, and uh, in the, the week prior, I should say weeks prior to uh, heading out for that trip, I was in so many different projects using so many different tools. So we had welding equipment out. If you saw those videos where there were some broken bolts that were kind of a surprise. Uh, just some modifications made the trailer. Numerous customer jobs that really needed to be separated and, you know, into their own spaces. So there's no what we call cross-contamination. Um, you can see some of the racks. I know some of you have seen this stuff before, but really got a, a question for you. So there's one, two, three different jobs there separated out. And the challenge question is gonna be is how often do you reset your shop? And what I mean by that is you could see all the tools I packed up for camping. You could see tools that I was using. You could see I've got a bunch of new tools that have come into the shop. I'm kind of separating off, figuring out where they're gonna go and then to tell you guys about them too. And then, uh, shoot, here's even an oil pump had a, an oil uh, tank that was a little too uh, overfilled so this was really handy for sucking it out and uh, parts are in for the DRZ now I mean I just got hot messes I got cables laying around and I've, I've just got a lot of tools from all the late nights a lot of you know that I, I do all the shop stuff here nights and weekends and it's really easy to make excuses look at that tool cart a couple of tools on that um, but it's really easy to make excuses and say, uh, you know, well, I'll get to it t tomorrow or, you know, it, it'll be fine. And, and like, especially one thing that I do a lot of is carburetors. You guys have seen those videos over and over. So to put the tools away doesn't make a lot of sense because I'm, I'm turning around. I'm just reusing them right away. But something that I found to be successful in my shop, just from a, a control standpoint and an inventory standpoint, and what I mean by tools, tools and supplies, uh, just knowing stuff isn't missing. You know, like when you go to, let's check this out. When I go to a socket tray and I see stuff, you know, missing, that means I used it, right? I mean, is it is it on this bench? Hey, ain't nobody dying. Careful over there. Hey, come here. Why don't you come be on the video? Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks for being good watchdogs. Yeah. So if I... Obviously, when I'm using this stuff, it needs to go back in place. You can see sockets laying on the bench here or whatnot. But how frustrating is it in normal operations where you go in to grab something and it's missing, right? And you need it because you're trying to be productive and make money. So... One of the things, like I said, that, that I found to be successful is to be a little more willing to hit pause and clean. And I know for me, it's been about a month now since I just hit a complete reset and said, you know what, all tools are going back. All carburetor tools are going back. Every single socket's going to go in its drawer. Every electrical tool, we've been, I've done a ton of electrical lately, soldering and repairing wires and mounting accessories and and so the vast amount of tools, like they're all over, are going to be put back, re-inventoried, hit that zero point, and then go ahead and uh, get back to work. And so for me to do this is typically going to take, because I'm a one-man shop, so you guys have seen my space here, that I, I can do it in uh, a half a day pretty easily. Uh, and then clean, wipe down the benches and counters and windows and stuff, you know, just keep it fresh, keep it crisp and keep it nice. Uh, and, and for me, I, I don't have any traffic in here, hardly ever, just personal invites and whatnot because it's my own shop. But thinking about you dealers and thinking about you people that are doing this for a living, you know, how, how much does that do for you as far as actual productivity versus hunting for stuff all the time? I know uh, one of my old shops, love these guys to death, but we, uh, we tend to kind of struggle around what that balance was in that shop. I wanted to, you know, pause a little more often than they did in operations. And 
not not everybody bought into that so I thought it'd be just a really cool conversation and kind of separate this so if you answer and comment below what I'd really like to know is are you a do-it-yourself or are you a pro and how often do you go you know what reset put everything away re-inventory everything and then kind of take some pride in uh, not that it super matters but take some pride in like you know uh, kind of just refreshing your workspace I know that when I have this much clutter uh, it tends to just make me a little tight, a little stress because it just the, the pile's getting too big. Okay, so if I'm doing just fuel system, uh, fuel service jobs, I just want those tools. I don't want all my electrical tools out. Um, and then, like I said, I, I'm just really curious. I just think this will be a fun little video to find out what do you do, what's successful, and if you have anything else you want to add, like you know uh, how you go about, you know, I guess delegating it, maybe products you use. Uh, what your you know what your method is and uh, how you I don't know I think I think you get the point that I'm I'm trying to say here I'm I'm trying to say this and not <laughs> sound offensive to some because I I know when I was an instructor at the college I would walk into shops and be like, God dang man it looks like a tornado went off and and it doesn't look like it's been touched in forever but they were successful they were plugging away and 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 going. And I think, you know, maybe the delays versus taking that time just didn't have that value for them. So I'm just curious what we, who we have in the audience and what that looks like for you. Um, in the community tab, I still haven't found out. I'm really hoping that people can post photos and share a little bit more that way. Uh, our Facebook page is a place that uh, you could share photos and, and uh, you know, show yourself off. Tell us about your shop, whether you're do-it-yourself or a pro and uh, have a little uh, more interaction in this community. So we love it. So I'm gonna get at it. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out and just clean it up, make it look great again, and then uh, hit that reset so that next week when I get back at turn wrenches, I can just come in, grab the tools, rock and roll, and keep going. That is my productivity tip of the day. Can't wait to hear from you all. Hope you're having a great uh, weekend. Uh, we really had a nice reset getting away for the dirt bike ride and camping last weekend and just excited to get back at it and keep making great content. So thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Especially thank you for sharing, liking. Uh, you know, I, I thought of something too. I got in a another round of safety glasses from Radians. You all know how I brag these uh, safety glasses up. And I think it's about time I'll get a little contest going uh, in the next week or so so that we can give away give away a few more pair of those to you uh, to you subs. So anyway, awesome. I'm gonna go. As always, keep wrenching and we'll talk to you soon.